just make some noise. I know you didn't take off of work today to be quiet, to be cute, to be sedity. I said women at the cross make some noise. While you're screaming, can you scream for the leader of this house, Pastor, Dr. Senator James T. Meeks, the first. <laughs> And, of course, we love to give honor to the minister who ministers to the minister. Put your hands together for the visionary of this amazing experience. We get to experience every Good Friday. My big sister, my mentor, put your hands together for First Lady Jamel Meeks. I have to give honor to the man who's the priest of my home, the pleaser of my heart, such a preacher of holiness. Somebody say, yeah! for Pastor Charles Jenkins. <laughs> so glad to have my kids here with me. It's fellowship in the house. I love you, I love you, I love you. To my sisters on stage, I love you so much. Now, today I have been given the fun task to tell you about the woman at the well. So for the next few moments, I just want to talk to you from four words. He invented the remix. Yeah. Put your hands together for DJ Mike P, who's helping me on today tell the story of the woman at the well. Somebody say remix. remix. He invented the remix. The word remix is defined as a piece of media that is transformed, that is changed by adding elements, taking away elements, speeding up the beat, decreasing the beat. The word remix is a shift in an original song. And I'm looking at some women who need a remix. You've been stuck in the same soundtrack of your life. You've been stuck in the same song. You're tired of hearing the same lyrics. You're tired of being at the altar year after year about the same thing. Is anybody in here expecting a remix? I just came to tell you that he invented the remix. Somebody say, remix! Anybody who's been stuck in the same cycle and in the same circle. You're just dizzy from living life in the same cycle and the same circle. Well, we decree in the name of Jesus that today that cycle is going to be broken. Today that circle is ending. That lifestyle of having the same episode of your life year after year. This New Year's Eve, you're not going to have the same resolution. You're not going to have the same prayer request because we serve a God who invented the remix. When we look at this woman in John chapter 4, she didn't even know she was in need of a remix. But she was about to experience the remixer. If you turn to John chapter 4, we see the woman at the well. Now, I don't know what she was known for or known as or called before we knew her as the woman at the well because she had to be called something else before she made it to the well. <laughs> but she is without a name. We don't know her age. All we know her as is the woman at the well. But the first thing we see about this woman at the well, number one, she starts off as a woman with a wall. We can tell that she has a wall up because she's trying to avoid people. Anybody ever been living as a woman with a wall? You've been hurt long enough. 
You've been talked about long enough. You don't feel like dealing with people. You come in church late and you leave early because you really don't feel like smiling with the snakes. Somebody in here has lived with a wall before. You've been in situations where you don't even know if you believe what you believe anymore. You've been living as a woman with a wall. And she, this woman at the well, begins as a woman with a wall because she comes to get her supply of water at noon, the hottest time of day, hoping that nobody else will be there. This is how she comes to get her water. She's trying to avoid people. And who is at the well? Jesus, the plan interrupter. Have you ever had a plan that Jesus interrupted your plan? Her plan to avoid people, her plan to be away from people is interrupted by Jesus at the well. And can you imagine her going through the inconvenience of getting her water supply at the hottest time of day and seeing somebody by the well that she can't avoid? And in verse number seven, it says, Jesus says, give me to drink. Now, this woman is not used to men asking her to give them a drink. She's used to the man saying to her, she's used to men asking her, can I get you a drink? And here this man from another race, Jews not even supposed to be talking to Samaritan, says, give me to drink. And the conversation continues, and we find out that this woman at the well, who begins as a woman with a wall, now we find out that she's been a wife for a while. Because in conversation, Jesus exposes herself to herself so she can find out who himself is. In that day and in that culture, women weren't supposed to be talking to men without the presence of their husband. So after a, a little dialogue, Jesus says, go get your husband. And she says, I don't have one. He said, you're right. You've had five. Wait, 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 let's just stop right there. She's had five husbands. It's a lot of stress to have one. She's, I mean, not, not mine. I love you, baby. But it's a lot of stress to have one. So she's had five husbands. Imagine a person God chooses to choose for Jesus to go out of his way through Samaria to encounter. And the person he decides to choose has had Five husbands? Imagine somebody you know. I mean, I don't know anybody who has five, has had, okay. I know somebody who's gone on five honeymoons. <laughs> but this person's had five husbands, okay? So this is like us knowing one person who had been with Harold Melvin and all the blue notes. This is like knowing one woman who had been with Ronald Isley and all the Isley brothers. This is like knowing one person who had been with Eddie Kendricks and all the Temptations. This is like knowing, that was too old school for some of you, okay, this is like knowing somebody who had been with Easy e and all the Ruthless Records. This is like someone who had been with Lil Wayne and all of Young Money. And this is who Jesus chooses to go out of his way, on his way to the cross, and say, you need a remix. Somebody say, remix. He invented the remix. And I'm 
looking at somebody who needs a remix in your life. So this woman, this one woman, can you imagine having five weddings? She had had five weddings. Wedding number one. Wedding number two. Wedding number three. Wedding number four. Ooh, I'm tired. Wedding number. Have y'all ever planned one wedding? She had had five receptions. I mean, okay, the, this woman had been a wife for a long time, just not to the same groom. She, she'd been married for a long time, just not to the same person. So her receptions spanned decades of music. I mean, the first reception, they might have been doing something like... Now, that's the second reception, they might have been doing something like... Right foot, let's stop. Left foot, let's stop. Freeze! Everybody clap your hands! reception they might have been doing something like you know fourth reception what, what the fuck we on y'all oh. know okay y'all got your sunday morning fakery on i see y'all on the wobbly you see by the fifth reception it was kids it was different generations all on the floor and they was like now watch me wear now watch me wear yeah. Yeah. So this woman was in need of a somebody say remix. But we serve a God who invented the remix. He sent his son Jesus just to go out of his way to be where she was on his way to the cross because she needed the soundtrack to change in her life. Because after we see this woman at the well had what? Number one, we see that she had been a woman with a wall. Number two, we see that she had been a wife for a while. Number three, we see that she had been a woman who had lost her worth. Because the next part of this sentence says, and the one that you are with now is not your husband. So somewhere in the process of this woman at the well, becoming a woman with a wall, who had been a wife for a while, she becomes a woman who's lost her worth. Because when do you decide, you know what, I've had enough weddings, I've had enough engagements, I've had enough receptions, let's just skip the formalities and here's my key. We don't know from the text if Jesus telling her that the one you're with now is not your husband if that means that she was single and struggling and shacking or if she was a side chick who was settling but this woman at the well who had been a woman with the wall who had been a wife for a while becomes a woman who's lost her worth because when do you decide she wasn't going for the gold because the gold is number one she was happy to be at the silver and might not know that she was actually at the bronze. So those of you who think that you're proud to be a gold digger, you might be a silver digger, a bronze digger. But this is who Jesus comes out of his way, on his way to the cross, to say, I must needs go through Samaria because there is a remix that you need in your life. See, there's a difference between a remix and a remake. A remake is somebody else doing the same song. But we serve a God who sent his son Jesus that he's not going to replace you on your assignment. He's going to restore you in your assignment. So instead of it being a remake where you have messed up so many times, let me get somebody else to do your assignment. He is going to do a remix where he takes the original artist. 
find the original song and takes away some parts of the song and adds some elements to the song and changes the soundtrack and changes the way the song sounds with the same artist. He invented the remix. And I'm looking at somebody in here. You know that you came in here needing a remix. You've been stuck in the same soundtrack, but God, he wants you to experience his mixing in your life. Why don't you let him start producing your show? Why don't you let him start producing the song that your life is singing? Anybody in here need a remix? I want everybody to stand up if you're in need of a remix and lift your hands to God because this woman at the well who had been a woman with the wall who had been a wife for a while who had been a woman who had lost her worth she becomes a woman in his will and you are never too far gone to become a woman in his will you are never too far gone to become a woman of his word and the scripture said that many Samaritans believed because this woman told about Jesus come see a man who's told me everything that I've ever done but he still wants to use me he still chooses to use me he still chooses to use me he still chooses to use me Somebody say remix. Lord God, we thank you for your power to remix our lives. We thank you for your power to remix our songs. We thank you for your power to restore. We thank you for your power to replenish. We thank you that you never give up on us, even when we've given up on ourselves. We thank you that you forgive us for things that we don't even know how to forgive ourselves from. So God, right now, we thank you for restoration in this room. We thank you that every woman in here that came in with the wall that the wall is coming down in the name of Jesus we thank you right now that every woman can't, that came in here not knowing her worth will know that you still stopped by where she was on your way to the cross to say I'm dying for you too I'm dying for you too I love you still and it's never too late to get in your perfect will for our lives we thank you right now we appreciate you right now we honor you right now we praise you you right now and we give you praise for remixing the stories of our lives to line up with your perfect will for our lives and Jesus is mighty powerful mastering name we pray amen somebody